1883, prospector Cass Height wandered up White Canyon from the Colorado River in search of gold. What he found instead were three magnificent structures, now called Oachomo, Kachina, and Supapu Bridges. By 1908, President Roosevelt established Natural Bridges National Monument, the first area in Utah to be protected by the National Park Service. In 2007, the monument became the first certified international dark sky park. This is the Supapu Bridge in Natural Bridges National Monument. We're heading down. Down below you can see Terry and Claire and Cooper sitting on the ledge. Beautiful bridge. This is the White Canyon leading up from the natural bridge called Sapapu. We're heading on up here. There's a couple of uh, ancient Pueblo ruins. Soon to come to it. Thought I'd give you a panoramic view of the beautiful stained wall over here to my right. Beautiful blue sky today. Gonna be going into the sun, so I'll probably get a little bit of flare. And this is the direction I came from. Heading on up. Terry. Would you like to say something about your piece or this sure. site here? Hmm? Sure, I'm working on this piece, you know, obviously right on site. And I sketched it out a little bit before I started painting it. And I'm trying to capture the quality of light and surface quality on this ruins, this cliff dwelling ruin. Originally built, I don't know exactly, probably a thousand years ago. And difficulty is carrying all this equipment in and trying to hold the equipment, trying to make it lightweight so I can move it around and adjust it to get the quality of light here in the shadows that are available. I'm actually concentrating as much on the shadows as I am on the solid structural part of the image itself. So I've been working on this for about a half an hour trying to get it and laying in washes and broad areas in a little bit I'll go back in and start working with smaller brushes in smaller areas to try to bring out a few of the details and and put in the dark darks for the shadows hmm. nice job on the uh, wall behind it the streaks the stains Yes, I like. Right. Incidentally, that wall goes up. I don't know how far, but this the structure is built under this overhanging cliff wall, facing south, so that the so that it would be much warmer in the winter time, catching the sun during the day and being protected from heat loss and so forth by that structure, and also from rain and and wind. Okay, I'm gonna. Head up to the next ruins and we'll see you up there after a while. The area was repeatedly occupied and abandoned from 9,000 to 700 years ago. Only rock art and tools left by these ancient people give evidence to their existence. While exploring, we discovered something else interesting. We are at the ruins underneath this big sheer wall cliff. 
And the one thing we noticed was the uh, sounds, the way they're carried around the cliff. And in a moment, you'll hear Cooper talk about the same voice that I am right now. And uh, it's amazing the way it sound travels. Can you hear me right now, Cooper? Yeah, I can hear you pretty well over here. Okay. And Cooper, I believe, is talking just pretty much at a normal voice. Can you sing a few tunes or something? If not, okay, yeah. give me an idea how far away he is. You might need to wave. Yeah. Yeah, barely, but yeah. Well, it's amazing how the sound travels through this. Off this wall. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll be over there in just a little bit. The one way, Bridgeview Drive, leads to short hiking trails to the base of each bridge. Trails at the base of the canyon connect Supapu, Kachina, and Oachomo bridges. Mm -hmm.